This is stability example number one. Formally prove whether or not each system is stable. Let's take a look at the overall approach. We want to formally prove whether or not each system is bounded input, bounded output, stable. That is, does a bounded input produce a bounded output? Let's take a look at a general proof structure we can use for this. I have a system T with an input X and an output Y. I have a bound B sub X, which is the maximum absolute value of X. The absolute value flips any negative values positive. And of course, we are trying to identify that maximum value as our bound. We'll define, for the purposes of this proof, the bound on the input to be finite. We then calculate the bound on the output and check, is that also finite? If so, we say that our system is bounded input, bounded output stable. All right, let's move on to the detailed solution for system T1, which is five times X of N minus 10. I'm going to consider a finite bound on the input X, and then we want to determine the bound BY on the output. If they are both finite, then we say that the system is stable. Let's apply as an input to our system T, the value BX for all values of N. Now as BX passes through the system, we have five times BX. Of course, even with the delay of 10 samples, the bound is always BX. Therefore, our bound BY is five times BX. BX is finite, five times BX is also finite. Therefore, we conclude that T1 is bounded input, bounded output stable. Our next system is T2, and this is X of N squared. As before, let's go ahead and apply BX, our bound for all N, to that system. We know that our output then would be BX squared. That value is our bound on Y, B sub Y. Squaring a finite result still gives us a finite result. Therefore, T2 is also BIBO stable. And finally, our third system, T3. As before, let me apply BX for all N and see what happens. BX, as it passes through this system, will give us BX divided by N. At this point, let's return to the definition of our output bound BY. It's the maximum absolute value of the output sequence Y of N. I can bring BX out separately, and we observe here that whenever N is equal to zero, we have a divide by zero situation that gives us BY equals infinity. Therefore, we conclude that T3 is not BIBO stable.